So hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss about Fluent UI uh, components in Power Apps. So this feature is currently available in the Power App Studio of Teams. Uh, so what is Fluent UI framework? So basically it is a set of libraries uh, which Microsoft is currently trying to implement in all across the web and you, uh, mobile uh, applications. And this is uh, so that it can align with uh, the standard patterns and styles of Microsoft so that it gives a uh, it gives a standard uh, user experience all across the platform so let's explore a few of the controls that we have uh, the power apps so let's start with button so as you can see the button looks more much more smoother much more slicker than it was in the previous power apps which was something like this and design has been something power apps was not so good at but with uh, this Fluent UI, it looks really smooth. So what changes that we have? So in button, the first change is there is an additional uh, property called button type, which you can switch to either primary. So you get something like this or secondary, which you get that like this. And then uh, they have changed the terminologies so, so they used to have uh, fill for color. So this is something they used to have in the classic uh, power apps, which now have changed to fill color. <laughs> so let's just copy this color to make our life easier. Yeah and so except for that there is a new property called excel focus let's turn it to off False. so as you can see uh, for whichever controls it has been turned off it's not being selected and it's been moved to another tab so let's move it another one which is checkbox so uh checkbox uh, previously it used to have default uh, to tell you whether it needs to be checked or not now there is a field called check so you can set it true false uh, previously it used to have default to be set as true or false i don't think there is checked in the previous one uh, no so you set default as true so let's check another feature so uh, the new thing that we have is box side so you can keep it at start or end and based on that this uh, checkbox will appear so for uh, combo box which is this one input text placeholder which used to be there uh, is now converted to text uh, if we change the uh, along multiple to true it's a little different than previous one you can see that you can select is something like this and as I mentioned uh, the input uh, text placeholder which you should search for as is converted to text for date picker uh, it used to have selected date where you can put default date but now it has value so you can put it as today and it looks uh, much cleaner than previous one and much quicker you can let's add a label label uh, the size uh, so previously there used to be something called size for label which used to define the font size there, I guess, yeah. so it the font size was used to be called size but now it's called font size a good improvement indeed 
and for radio button uh, where is radio button so let's add a radio button mm. Fox radio button so, okay. so for radio button so things are same uh, except for the auto focus and tab index which was already uh, I have shown for text box so one thing that I found missing is layout so previously there used to be uh, something called layout from which you can turn vertical to horizontal which is not there anymore probably they will have that feature on later on or something they have they have missed slider uh, again the terminology of default has been changed to value so previously it used to have something uh, it used to have property called default which is now value uh, for text box the uh, color is now changed to color text color text so previously it used to say color now it says color text default has been changed to value uh, so next thing is for toggle i think most of the things have been same uh, size has been changed to font size like in usual default has been changed to check uh, like usual uh, so the look and feel of which text has been changed but uh, the properties has been pretty much uh, the same uh, spell check has been changed to enable spell check uh, but everything else looks pretty much similar so in terms of uh, user interface and looks and everything this looks a lot better so thank you for watching my video if you have found out any new changes that have not been mentioned here uh, let me know through comments uh, uh, if you want any specific video on any specific topic or you are facing any problems uh, please comment below and i'll try to release a video on it thank you for watching uh, please like and subscribe